most religious people in America fully embrace science. So the, the argument that religion has some issue with science applies to a small fraction of those who declare that they are religious. They just happen to be a very vocal fraction, and so you get the impression that there's more of them than there actually is. It's actually the minority of religious people who reject science or feel threatened by it or, or want to sort of undo or, with, or, or restrict the, where science can go. The, the rest, you know, are just fine with science and has been that way ever since the beginning. And by the way, there's no tradition of scientists knocking down the door, the Sunday school door, telling the preacher what to teach. There's no tradition of scientists picketing outside of churches, nor should there be some emergent tradition of uh, religious fundamentalists trying to change the curriculum in the science classroom. There've been, there's been a happy coexistence for centuries. And for that to change now would be it would be unfortunate because I, I've seen this happen in other nations and other states where the consequences are that you just basically recede back to the cave because that's where you land when you undermine the scientific and technological innovations that come about when you're a properly trained, trained scientist or technologist. Consider also that in America, 40% of American scientists are religious. So this notion that there's some, um, that if you're a scientist, you're an atheist, or if you're religious, you're not a scientist, that's just empirically false. It's an empirically false statement. And what I mean by religious is you can pose the question in a way that is unambiguous. You don't ask, well, do you go to church every Sunday? Because plenty of people go to church like just for the pie, you know, or, or the, the social scene after, after the service. You ask people, do you pray to a personal God? If you say yes to that, you're religious by, pre by presumably anybody's standards of your, of, your, of your conduct. And it's the yes to that question that applies to 40% of scientists. So uh, while there are plenty of atheists who are scientists or not scientists, to paint this as some built-in conflict is, there may be a conflict, but many, plenty of people in this country coexist in both worlds.